Hello, well nerd. I'm going to do an update vlog on Papyrus 3D, the open source game engine framework thing for A-Frame, WebXR, A, AR, VR, that I've been working on for a while. This has been an update vlog, I just got to walk into my local library so I figured I might as well just do it outside for a change. Anyway, all out of the way. So, uh, if you watch this channel, I guess you don't need any introduction. I've been yabbering on about Papyrus 3D for ages now. But um, this is mostly going to be an update on the work we're doing on the map editor, how that's progressing, which has been actually fairly well. You can check it out on the GitHub now. Uh, there's a live demo still, which obviously will be in states of completeness. But uh, you can go check that out, I'll put the link below. Um, so progress has been pretty good. We're working a lot more on the UI, trying to make the UI and the UX a lot more intuitive, I suppose. Uh, before, and even now, still so needs some improvements, but I've been separating the tool, uh, tools into three separate areas so far. So we've got a paint tool, prefabs tool, and characters, and that'll probably be an enemies one at some point too. One thing is, so what, what feature I implement? Right, so you can add the player start position now. You can only add one of it, so it's an individual player start. You can only add one. Because if you, you should be able to add waterfalls, because it's very possible that is. We've right? got that player placement working. There is a little bit of a bug with it still with the hitting, inserting the uh, P element still multiple times, but. I, I think we can get around that. Uh, and I've also implemented the prefab system properly, so you can, via UI, you can put in the number of the prefab you want to put into the game, whether it's a trigger, i.e., whether it triggers an interaction on when you look at it and the player looks at it, and then the number of that interaction. That all works perfectly now, as well. Also, fixed custom height. On for so if you create custom white walls on our display properly, well they're inserted correctly into the array, which you know which then gets exported out into the proper map. Something I've been working on and still struggling with a bit is loading and importing maps. So I've got the actual file reader works working, so you can load in a JSON file. But I'll probably need some checks. So you can only load JSON files. But the actual import sort of half works. It doesn't, it's a bit weird because it doesn't error out at the minute, but it doesn't actually load anything. So it does load the actual array, I know that much. But the actual, so it clears the scene in the function. And then it's supposed to load in, run the uh, map loading routine with that specific new passed parameter. Um, the new array that's been passed, which is the imported map basically. But it doesn't seem to work, so I need to figure that out. That's well I'm, I'm making progress with that actually and that that'll I think that's quite an essential thing because then you can save your maps and then load them in later if you want to load, work on them later on, which is definitely essential I think. Because you might you might not have time to do everything in one session right. Uh, it'd probably be worth, if possible as well, working on sessions so that whatever you've mapped you're working on gets saved in a session. That's like a, basically just ca gets cached. So that if you come back to it later on your the same browser, then it gets cached somehow. That would definitely be useful. Overall though, it's progressing fairly well. Obviously there's still some bits and bobs in the actual main game as well I need to fix up. But it has started to become more useful. I need to look into where that goes and stuff. But anyway, that's a quick update on that. I don't want to go on for too long. Um, if you try it out on the GitHub, please do let me know what you think. Obviously, it's early days. It's not finished yet, but be interested to see what feedback people have. Uh, I'm going to try and push this a bit more once it's in a more release-ready state. And we'll create its own, like I've said before. Uh, dedicated website try and create a little bit of a community around it and I'll be doing the documentation so hopefully 
all things go well within a month that will all be ready for the yeah, Papyrus 3D of the domain and uh, a little bit of instruction on how to use it and then people can actually start using it to create adventure games, interactive 3D games and stuff which would be cool anyway, we've got that